Hey there, Xeno community. Welcome back to our customer corner video series. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to create a table reference based on a field that is not an ID. Before we get started, I do want to show you a quick example. So as you can see here, we have this product table. In this product table, we have product records and each product record has a table reference to our category table. Now, when we want to add a new record onto our product table, we would have to provide the integer that belongs to the category that we want to reference. Now, this is great, but let's say that you have hundreds of records in your category table. The user on the front end is not going to be likely to know which integer belongs to the specific category that they want to select. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create this table reference by providing a different field. In this case, we're going to be providing text for the category name. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here in our inputs in this API endpoint, we're taking in that category ID as an integer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide that. And then I'm going to add another input as text. And label this category name. Perfect. The next step is to add a function. It'll be a database request get record from our category table. The field name is going to be category. And then the field value will be what we are getting from our inputs, that category name. I'll save this. Now I'm going to drag this up to the top. This is the first function that we want to run. And I can actually show you an example of what is going to happen here. So now if we run this and I provide men's clothing as the category name, this function here is going to run. And what we get is the variable category one, which we are getting from this stop and debug function here. As we can see, we now have the record and we can now access the ID for this specific category. Now, this is perfect because in our add record and product function, we actually need to provide that integer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map to this ID here within our category one variable. And I'm going to do that with dot notation. So if we save this, let's go ahead and disable this function here. And if we go on to add a product, let's say hats, the price is $12.99. Full hat, we have a hundred. I'm not going to provide an image, but I want this to be associated with men's clothing. Now, if I run this, we can see that this successfully was added into our product table. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Here is the product that we just added and that table reference was successfully created. All right. I hope that you find this helpful. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Talk soon. Bye-bye.